Hello and welcome to this new free video series on EdgeRater for HGSI users. Over the next few days I'll be releasing four videos. The first one is this introduction where I will show some of the powerful information that can be uncovered when you combine HGSI software and EdgeRater. And over the next three videos I'll show how to set up the programs to work together in the basics video, how to produce the reports you'll see today in the HGSI templates video, and finally how to produce powerful reports using other EdgeRater templates. So let's go ahead and get started with this introduction. And remember, this is just showing a taste of what can be achieved and the details will be coming in the next videos. Percent V bucket migration. This is an update to the first ever template produced in consultation with Ian Woodward and Ron Brown for HGSI users. It's a dynamic view of the breadth of stocks in the S&P 1500 and where they sit within their Bollinger Bands. So in this report, you can see immediately that 81% of stocks are above the mid band and 19% are below. And you can also see a profile of how many stocks are at various percent B levels within the bands. The lower area shows the day-to-day -day migration of stocks to different percent B levels. So for example, you can see if there's a big movement of stocks into a particular level, if they came from higher or lower levels. The dynamic part of this chart allows you to scroll forward day by day or to click on the stock chart to show the data for a specific day. For instance, here's November 9, where you can see that 45% of stocks were above their upper Bollinger Band. While the percent B buckets report shows the breadth of stocks at percent B levels, the percent B buckets per symbol report breaks down exactly which stocks are in each percent B bucket with a history of daily, weekly, and monthly levels. And also a special column indicating the number of buckets moved. One thing to note with EdgeRater is that most reports are dynamically linked to charts, so that clicking on symbols in the report shows the chart for that stock with an appropriate chart layout and annotation. The US market summary template produces a color-coded report of nine major US indexes representing the overall state of the US markets. The percent B columns are color-coded green, yellow, and red to indicate the overall state of the US markets. These colors are based on percent B, indicating where indexes are in relation to their Bollinger Bands. The percent B one day change columns indicate HGSI kahunas, red for a down kahuna and blue for an up kahuna. Watch for a solid row of red or blue in these columns to signal the start of a change in market conditions. One of the great features of HGSI is that it maintains a collated set of industry groups. When you add EdgeRater to the mix, you're able to view the seasonality of those industry groups. Using the Seasonality Now template, you can see what's happened to each group over the next one month period in each of the past 10 years. For instance, here you can see that the next month has experienced seven up years and three down years with an average gain of 6% in the Renewable Energy Project Dev Group. Most EdgeRater reports can be sorted by clicking on the header row and can be filtered by using the drop down. Another great feature of EdgeRater in combination with HGSI is the ability to see your relative strength of industry groups. Here you can see that since January 2020, groups with the highest relative strength based on one day percent change have outperformed the comparison index, which is SPY. The worst performing group was the lowest relative strength indexes. These rotating indexes are produced by rotating into the new highest and lowest relative strength indexes every day. The dashboard of this report shows the current highest and lowest ranked groups. Ian Woodward was a great follower of the Hindenburg Omen, whose claim to fame is that there has never been a market correction without the Hindenburg Omen first firing. However, a Hindenburg Omen does not always lead to a market correction. The last Hindenburg Omen was seen just prior to the March meltdown. 
HGSI updates a huge number of stock properties every day and you can see selections of these in the HGSI warehouse views. When you add Edrator to the mix you can keep track of the changes in the warehouse over time. The warehouse report shows the performance of various fields in the warehouse such as ERG, EPS rank, relative strength rank, group rank, AD letter rank and HGS box number. So for instance in this report you can see that since April the 17th 2019 to November the 30th 2020 the highest ERG stocks have outperformed the lowest and that earnings per share mattered as did group rank and AD letter rank. Boxes 1, 4 and 5 were the best performers. In this video you've seen some of the powerful reports that you can produce when you combine EdgeRater with HGSI. In the upcoming videos in this series you'll see how to get everything set up correctly and exactly how to produce and interact with those reports. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.